Whoa, 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 whoa. I like him, but I don't like him that much. You can wear his stuff in the yard. Oh, Donovan stuff only. Change, please. You can now come in now. You've got the proper colours on. And you've got the... Yes, I like this. Yeah, I'll let you have it. It's a proper O'Donovan badge. It's quite an amazing story, really, because this began back in... My old man left Ireland in 1957. Right. Come to London. Uh, bought his first machine in 59. A little 951, went to work on demo sites with it. The Caterpillar 951? Yeah, an old yeah. 951, which we've got one out the back there. I'll show you that later on. Yeah. Uh, and then he started on the tippers, which is one of the first. What was it, about a 1960 Thames trade or something similar to this old girl? Yeah. And he used to run up and down to all over the place with hardcore back in the day. So obviously it was a hard day's work driving these, not like today. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then obviously... He progressed from one, bought a second one, where we used to do hand loads of rubbish. I remember him saying they used to hand load the big ones with rubbish. And this was the start. The Thames traders were the start of the old man's firm. And because these have got the Ford 6D in Indeed. these. So a lot of you'll know as well the 6D also in an agricultural application is what people put in the majors. Like, you know, when they do a six cylinder conversion, same engine. Same engine. Brilliant no engine, no you know. Because they used to have a lot, lot of lorries, they had little four cylinders. Four didn't cylinders. They? A lot of these started off with four That's cylinders right, they did, traders, yeah. but then they boosted them up to that. You got the 70, the 70 now, which is a six cylinder. But like I say, this, so, this 70, one's a 75. 75. So she's more modern. This is your 1960s. This is your 60. What's B Reg? 64? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 64. So that was a more, that was a kind of a modern up step up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what more, more modern was in it. There was no aircon in it anyway. I know that <laughs> your aircon was you open your flap at the side. D DAB radios and all that. You know. <laughs> and if you'd done a day in one of these, you knew about it. Yeah, that's know. for sure. And a lot of them, when they had the, you had the counties, you had first, second, third, fourth. Because we saw one overdrive. of those six-wheeler, didn't we? Yeah. The county, yeah. I think it belonged to Fosses, yeah. He's just done all that up. And he's made a lovely job of it. Yeah, it's nice. Well. My dad had a couple of six-wheel counties as well. Right. He started off with four-wheelers. Yep. Progressed to a six-wheel county. I always remember it, a blue cab, grey body one. Something similar to the one that Fosses have. Yep. Very nice motor. I remember we used to go out and that, me and my dad. I'd be put into the back to pull the the wood out of the hardcore. Yeah. And off we'd go to Reading. I remember he used to do maybe three loads to Reading a day. Really? And nowadays, they've got brand new motors. They can only do two to Reading and they're complaining. <laughs> 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 exactly like with the county tractors, they would take a skid unit as such from Ford and then they would make their own. So county with the trucks would make them into a six-wheeler and say, um, whereas like with the tractors, they would make them into four-wheel drive. So that's what County did. That's they? what because County done. That's what that's what they done. Ford that's at the time, yeah. Ford commercials didn't offer mm. a six wheeler, did they? No. You know, no. And that's no. where it come from. The County was just double drive, yeah. Or top of the pops range. Yeah. Thames Trader back in the day. That seat is about adjusted back as far as it'll go, and you didn't have a lot of room between you and the steering. And there's not no power steering. You got you, this is a very modern one. It's got a two speed axle, four speed gearbox with a two speed axle. You had aircon, of course. You always had aircon. That's your aircon. Just to get a bit of cool air around your feet. Yeah, just to, that nice breeze open the other one up. Nice breeze coming in. Yeah, lovely. What more do you want? What more would you want? He actually had a Chinese six Dodge, which was a very rare vehicle yeah. back in the day. I remember that lorry very well, Chinese six Dodge. We'll show you a Chinese six, won't we, Michael, yeah, later? We, yeah, we have a Chinese six, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's in a bad way at the minute. Yeah, we'll, but talk we'll, explain about, we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> we'll explain uh, what a Chinese six is. That's a little bit of an argument we've got going on. <laughs> <laughs> he had a Chinese six. So by this time, what's he got? Four, five, No, six? he only ever had two to three at the start. Ah, and he just kept changing one in and moving mm. up and moving up. Well, that time, you'd probably go and buy a vehicle like that for a few hundred quid. Right, this is a Albion. Yep. But me dad started off with the six-wheel Albions that he right. bought off Hoveringham's back in yeah. the day. I remember two of them coming. UNN seven one seven seven G, I think it was back then days, and UNN two five one G. Right. And they were the LED cabs. LED the lad LA, cabs. LED, yeah. LED LED lad cabs. cabs, yeah. 
and this was the ergomatic cab, which was more That's of a right. modern tool. It was, wasn't it? Nice mm. and low and whatever. Yeah. Which is, this is your nice, your new modern, this is for your modern driver. And it was, wasn't it? It was, yeah. a, like you said, from them Thames and stuff mm. like that, they actually did, for one, start thinking mm. about the driver. Driver. That was sort of a modern lorry then for the old man. He bought several of these. Uh, we were in a big yard in King's Cross in the 70s, yeah. and that's when the old man took off in the 70s. Then we went come from the 60s to the 70s, right. and we started in the groundwork in and demolition. But demolition was the ma old man's main okay. objective, was demolition. Right. Sites all over London that were redeveloping sites, because obviously there was war damaged sites, like yeah. you said. So that was what we done back then was hardcore was our main job and demolition was our main job yeah. and then the muck away come afterwards that's when then he introduced a lot of eight wheelers onto the firm so you had on the firm three of these three of these exactly the same as this vehicle here no yep. different whatsoever all no. 1970s on j regis I always remember that one W A R because it's war and that's what just stuck AR in my head. AR is an Essex Reg, I think. But this is allegedly a Bedford Reg. PP's so. Bedfordshire, okay. But they come with the same bodies, unless this was just coincidence that the company put the. Uh, the yeah, yeah. They were just. But they, built. the body on this truck here as it stands today is exactly the same t t style of body that we had on our other three right. trucks. So there's okay. no different whatsoever in that lorry there than the three my dad had back in the 70s. The, the design, obviously, is striking, isn't yeah. it? And it was designed, was it Michelotti designed them? Yeah, and he right. didn't he design for things like Ferrari and all yeah. people like that? So they brought in, the, that was the, the way in the 70s, they'd bring in these designers, Diners wouldn't they? They designed the lovely cars to try and bring a bit of panache, I suppose, to the trucks. For the drivers. But these were a fiberglass cab. All fiberglass. And that was the thing, to stop rot, because the biggest problem back in the day was rot, wasn't rot, it? Yeah. You know, whereas the idea being that the fiberglass cab wouldn't rot. However, what they used to do instead was crack and craze, didn't they? They used to split. When you get this up to speed when you're driving this old girl, and I remember it with the other scammers, if you haven't got a bit of cardboard under the door, you can hear the door going <laughs> as you're driving along. <laughs> so they've not changed in the knocking and the banging. No. Even though obviously I've spent a lot of time on this old girl, they still have the shaking. Yeah, character, it's character. character. So again, the ergomatic cab. Yeah, ergomatic <laughs> cab. My dad had a lot of these in eight wheelers. Did he? Uh, yeah. And we the AECs? The AECs in eight wheelers. We bought them off the GLC. The only thing wrong with the GLC motors are a little bit lower than that. They're big bulk of bodies on them, but we had welders at the time that would cut them down and put a ridge ah. on them. So then, but the only thing wrong with them, they were very near. Yeah. So were they mammoth majors? Mammoth majors. Yeah, so a bit of history again. You've seen the same cab on an AEC. You've an seen Albion. it on an Albion and also Leyland, which Leyland. was by that time the main company yeah. was, they'd bought AEC or absorbed yeah. AEC and Albion. So mammoth major was the eight wheel AEC, the Leyland, was the octopus? Octopus, yeah. Eight, eight wheels, yeah. eight. Amazing. Very clever, wasn't it? Mm. I don't think they. You had the octopus is also. You can't. This obviously hasn't got the cab on it at the minute. On, on that one over there that we had a little fire in. Right. Which had a Park Royal cab on. Yeah, that's another AEC, cab, weren't they? And this paint scheme uh, obviously is reminiscent of like tarmac, isn't it? As it was yeah, then. Yeah, we bought we bought this vehicle off a man up in Scotland. And it was painted this way, and it's such a good job. Nice, isn't it? Lovely, lovely job. Yeah. So we said, leave it. We just put Dad's name on the side of it and leave it in Tarmac's colours. Yeah, you see Tarmac and Amy yeah. Roadstone, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, and all this colour. It's so lovely, isn't it? Yeah, we decided to leave it. Ron went up to Scotland, and you picked them up, didn't you? Yeah. This and the... Albion. Albion. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah. yeah. You driven this one much? Yeah, I've driven that one. Um, You've done a couple of shows with that, haven't you? I've done a couple of shows with that. Um, this year and, and last year. Um, the Scammel recently, as we've yeah. shown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one is, is, yeah, it's nice to drive. Nice, is it? Nice cab, yeah. Great vision as well. It is, isn't it? Especially it's when all low the down. vehicle now, they're trying to fight to, to find the vision. Yes. And and they, they had it then. And they, they had it then. It. Yeah, I know. Everyone's doing them sort of low cabs, aren't yeah. they? Mm. You know? Like the dust cart type cabs yeah. will... You had it yeah. back in the day, and obviously you've got the window down here. Yes. That's near enough. Yeah. A lot of things just keep... It's all a big big wheel, isn't it? Keep, mm. You think you've got something new, and that's just... No, it's been done before. 
Well, as the man so showed us on Sunday, look at ABS brakes out 40 years ago. I mean, that was at the, the uh, Motor Museum, Heritage Museum at Gaydon, wasn't yeah. it? The stuff we saw there, stuff it's that... unbelievable. Uh, technology. We saw, uh, like, cars with CVT transmissions. We saw electric yeah. cars, electric vans. But they all just, they, they never got to the over the finish line did they and now people are sort of oh this is new technology it's not it's not new technology 50 no. 60 years ago yeah, they had no, it look at but they just didn't have the resources or the material or the money just to take it that much further mm. here we got a guy my old man run a load of these guys back yeah. in the day yep um we run them with leyland engines in them yes and we didn't run any with gardner engines most of them had leyland engines yeah we had a guy big j6 which was a six wheeler yeah the guy Big J8 is obviously this eight-wheeler. We had them as well. And we run them with, uh, I, th I remember rightly, they had 680 Leyland engines yeah. in them. Same Good as what you have in the Scammel. Yeah. Some of them had AEC engines in them. Yes. And then they had Cummins engines in them mm -hmm. with the three separate heads. Yeah. That always the one in the middle blue <laughs> that give you all the aggro. Yeah, take the middle one out to get, to get the others. But we run a lot of these. Dad had about five or six of these back in the day. Um, this is obviously not one. This is more of a bulker for rubbish. But this has obviously come off a farm of some description back in its time. See, I've seen the four-wheelers. I've seen the six-wheelers. I have never seen an eight-wheeler guy. No? Never. That's incredible. Mm. Really is. Uh, to the point where, when I've seen pictures of this before, I assumed she was a six-wheeler. No, and only really. today when you got her out, I went, Ain't we? <laughs> Lovely to drive. Really? Beautiful to drive. Plenty of room in the cab. You're sitting up nice and high. Lovely to drive. This obviously with a Garden 180 in it. Yeah. You have to run when you start her up in the morning. Yes. Yeah, you wouldn't course. be doing a walk walkabout check with this old girl. No. If you were, you'd have to have a gas mask on. I personally, I would never be involved with anything that smokes a lot. Any engines that smoke, you wouldn't get me. That's not my thing. <laughs> the rock <laughs> no i um. noticed that yeah <laughs> she's got the big heavy duty diffs on her right and she's got big reduction hubs on her so she probably would have been more set for a for the bit of soft ground thinking she'd yeah. get out of it yeah yeah but um when you get her top speeds about 45 mile an hour if yeah. you're lucky yeah uh when you hit a hill yeah and keep going, and all the way down. All yeah. the way down, so yeah. you're not... Oh, we've never had a load on the old girl. But this is one of the ones I remember from my dad. Obviously, we got uh, the chief head on the front. Yes. Well, this is off the guy, Warrior, early 60s. Yeah. And what they used to do back in the day, they'd paint the feathers for the different tribes. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then that sort of told you what tribe yeah. the guy was from. Obviously, how this is all related, I don't know. But There'll be a story there there's somewhere. There's a story there somewhere. There'll be a, a, a guy appreciation yeah. site, and they will know. They'll, they'll know, know everything, everything yeah. about it. But that's a lovely hmm. example. Got the old man's yeah, bit of sign writing on it yeah. again. And then we've got the 4D series here, which is not one that we had. But obviously we had six wheel D series. Right, yeah, yeah. From back in 68, 69, my dad bought one off of bulls that were the concrete crowd. Yeah. And it was all yellow with a picture of a bull on the side of it. And I remember my dad used to drive that himself and that was a, a 69 that would have been. Okay. And this is the modern one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the modern one. They had the round lights, didn't they? And the grill mm. with the early Mark ones. And these obviously, stented from the Thames Trader. Of course, yeah. So, but these were well well, well, well ahead of their time, yeah. the board. Oh yeah. Because yeah. you had a comfortable driver's seat, you yep. had a bench seat for your passengers, you had straight six with a two-speed axle gearbox, which you'd push in and out with ease. And these, the engines in these, uh, are these, these different variations, yes. but, they're basically like the 2715, yeah. like in the Ford 8100 yeah. tractor. Well, 
the that's Thames Trader, but yeah. a bigger version, but she's lying on her lying side. Lying on her side because of the yeah. to get the height down. Yeah. And then yeah. if you were really posh, you had a turbo. Yes. Yeah, back yeah. in the day. Yeah. But a lot of these you thought you see of just a straight six. Yep. Obviously this is this is the same. The light switches have never changed. No. The seats the have never changed. The gears, this is a straight six. Yep. With the the six wheeler what we used to run yep. with a two speed axle. Two speed axle. axle. Yeah. Or if you were really posh, the more later ones of these, you had an eight speed, which was four over four. Right. So yeah, and obviously look, heaters, stoppers. Oh, yeah. Your tipping gear was here, the, everything was, and you had a nice big cab to put anything you wanted in the cab. Uh, we did run a rare fleet of vehicles. Yeah. There was a bit of everything. Yeah. So it was whatever was cheapest at the time, I suppose. Well, yeah, there is that. I mean, and there's, there was so many, like we just said, even like when Leyland absorbed Albion and AEC, yeah. where, you know, there's so much choice. Yes. I mean, there's really, there's three now, isn't it? Main, main ones. There's three, three. Three main ones, yeah. yeah. But, you know. Um, yeah, there is only three. But there you go. That's the story so far as we know it. Yeah. Right, so we've moved here now to the other. This is your restoration this shed. This is the restoration shed. Yes, you're right. You're right. And this is one we brought in, we've bought recently. Clydesdale that my dad used to run in the skips back in the day. Yep. Uh, no skip gear on the back of it. It's a tipper at the minute. Right. But we're looking for a set of mac lift equipment to go on it to make it a skip lorry. So maybe so, someone out there. Anyone that knows of any mac lift skip equipment? Mark 5, please, with the <laughs> extending legs, please. Please give go. us a shout. Then over here, we've got Scammell Corner. So we saw the Rootman earlier, the lovely one, all yeah, done up. Yeah, these are, the more, these are the more modern ones. Yeah. This is an N reg, an okay. N for Norman. This is a P reg. Yeah. This is a W reg. Oh, so you're really coming up then. Yeah. Yeah, we're coming up through the ranks. Yeah. But um, we've already started on this one here, which, if you'd like to look round it, you can see we've done all the um, hub seals, new brake chambers, one new air tank, new air hoses, all new brakes all round. Um, as you move up, we've got. The exhaust is being done at the minute as we speak, okay. being done in chrome, so it'll be a chrome stack. We've rebuilt this, our welder rebuilt this header tank. Uh, she's 680 Leyland, same as the J-Reg below. AEC straight six gearbox, X blue circle cement, which lots of yeah. the Irish community bought yeah. and turned them into tippers. Yeah. We've all the interior away to be done and with a bit of luck, but if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. And you are mm. doing it right, aren't you? Mm. You know what I mean? You aren't skimping over it. No, you can't be skimping. No. We've all new bumpers to go on them. Yep. And once again, any of you lads out there that follow this man's videos, we are looking for headlights for this age group scammer. If anybody's got any headlamps. Because the other one had the twin round Twin ones, it? mic but round. This has got the bezels, the big yeah. rectangular ones. Someone said that you can get these out of Vauxhall cars and things, but where do you find Vauxhall car headlights if you can't find Scammell headlights? No. And then we move to this one, which, by the way, was not like this when we bought it. Okay. Uh, someone got into it one day and decided to take it out of the shed. Yeah. Not knowing how to drive a Scammell, mm. mm. the clutch went down to the ground and the lorry took off. Yeah. And hence we busted the wing, and a good friend of mine fixed the wing. Yeah. That wasn't Ryan, by the way. It weren't you, Ryan, no. Uh, these are all the new bumpers we got made for them. Oh, which, you got them all done? Yeah, which, yeah. this is a f uh, fella we got fabricated in our yard. But that yeah. body's coming off because obviously it's rotten. Yeah. We put a new header tank on this just to smarten her up a bit off the Chinese six outside. Which upset yeah. you. <laughs> right. Now, now, this is the girl. She is done from front to back. Yeah. We've only got to get a set of tyres for her. She's almost ready to go to the body shop. Yep. She has a TL11. Oh, right. So a later. Later engine, engine again. She's yep. on a W edge. Yep. TL11 with a turbo on her. But she still has a lot, a long way to go to get finished with the men that sprayed it took everything off of the cab and never oh, yeah. put nothing back. Yeah, yeah. 
And there is the cab to the Park Royal Cab AEC that's down the front. Yes. Um, that's all ready to go when the man's ready to paint it. This is a Chinese six. So this, as I think, is, although it's the root of the series, it's called a trunker because that's a tractor unit. But look, 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 look. So tractor unit. So that obviously steers, but that one steers as well. That was a Chinese six. Bedford did some, Scammell did some. Uh, you know, Dodge did him. Dodge did him as well. And my yeah. dad had a Dodge. Like That's I right. Said. So you keep saying this is a parts truck, mm. but I, as I say, I think yes, you should take parts off it, but to get it to the bare chassis so you can then restore it. But there might be one of your fans out there might want to come and take it off me and restore it. If you hadn't took so much off, I'd have probably took it off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My old man had these in uh, tractor units as well. We used to have one with a gate change gearbox. Yeah. Which we, uh, which a friend of mine's got now at the minute, Joe Calori's got one. Right. That we've challenged Daniel, we've challenged you once again. <laughs> Get your boots on and your trousers on. He used to be too busy, isn't he? Yeah. He's gonna, you are, I know you're going to be too busy, but thanks for giving us Will again. Um, yeah, nice one, Will. Yeah, good lad, Will. Keep it up. Uh, where if you missed the gear, you had to go down through the gate. To yeah. get the, the gear you wanted. Yeah. Low loader. We've done a lot of low loader work yeah. back in the day. We had a lot of machines back in the day, like old 951s. Yeah. If we didn't carry them on the back of a tipper, we put them on the low loader. My dad had six or seven JCBs back in the day. Okay. Um, Can you remember what trailer it was? What uh, low loader? Oh, it was a. What trailer was it? One was a King trailer. Yeah. One was a, a Tasca. Tasca, yeah. Tasca trailer. And we had a foreign line, which I can't remember the name of. Dyson. Can't remember the name. We'd be telling you lies. But um, yeah, he had a uh, three, like three or four low loaders back in the day. Yeah. There we are. Go on. Look. You know this one. Buxton's. That's an X. I think X Farm. Look, Park Farm, Hayden, Norfolk. Oh, Norfolk wagon. Yeah, one of yours. Yep. And uh, I don't know if it was on the front or on the back. I thought it'd be on the back. I saw the registration was a Norfolk Reg. We'll have a look at a minute. But I tell you what, the condition of this... It's beautiful. Um, we're, through the, we're going through the restoration now. The cab is a little bit rotten here and there, but for an AEC Marshall... It's in a lot worse. Six-wheeler. Yeah. She's in very good nick. I've only bought this recently. With the radiator back now from being done, the radiator was a little bit yeah. leaky-fied. Uh, she starts on the bun. My dad had several AEC six-wheelers and Albion six-wheelers. Yeah. And they were always the best to drive. The AEC, the steering, you turn it with your little finger. Got to get a set of tyres wherever I'm going to get a set of 900 by 20s from. Yep. I don't know, but I'll dare say I'll find them. There's not an oil leak on her, which is unusual for a vehicle of this age. Yeah. Prior to the fleet, when we go to the show and we're taking all the scammels, she'll have to lead the way, I think. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. Just sort of just in front of the, the uh, Chinese six trunk. The one that we're not going to do. You got, you got I'm going to give you to do. Because you've got more oh, time than me. Oh, oh yeah, I have, haven't I? Do you not think he's got more time than me? Those that think he's got more oh, time yeah. on me, say yeah. <laughs> I haven't got time on a Friday to stand near the lamppost. Well, I'll... I'll With I'll a get... company that the sister sold. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll keep saying that. <laughs> uh, we only use these for shows, by the way. Yeah. Uh, we towed up... I towed the two Thames right, traders on... Saturday morning with this one to Gaydon, yeah. which you see us up yeah. there. Ryan drove this one uh, with enough. the Scammel and the AEC on, which has me dad's original number plate and on that it. That was his plate. That was his that's, plate. That's not one of similar. That's, yeah, that, that is the plate. That's that is the, the plate. plate that come off uh, an old Wolseley car it come off of. Nice. And that's what we put that plate on. So that's the old man's lorry really has got his name on it again, which you had on your sleeve of your shirt. Yes, of course. Yeah. And I didn't want you to get it dirty, so I told you to take it off. I know. Protect it, innit? Protect the you name. Need to protect the name. Yeah. And here we have uh, another 143 we've bought. Version 1 Volvo. Version. So these, we've looked at the, 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 the AECs, we've looked at the Scammels and whatever, and they are what you can remember growing yeah. up. These. They're yours, yeah, isn't it, You can remember these growing up. When I was a kid, this is what I used to see on the roads. What we had similar models to what is in the shed here. Um, Tipper-wise, growing up was the kind of Maggie Deutsch, the early FL Volvo. Yeah. Um, 
that's what I remember around the yard when I was a kid and he's obviously pulling the rubbish out the yard. Yeah, we had a lot of one four threes pulling rubbish out of the yard at the time, yeah. Yeah. Kind of, this is the collection of what you can remember. Yeah, what I can remember, yeah. That's what you got. This one's got all the convoy. Um, oh yeah, the old rubber duck. Rubber duck stuff oh, on it. Trucking. Yeah. I bought off a friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, there's a picture of me dad on the back of that one there. Yeah. Because obviously that's hence why his number plates on it. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. We had his 37th anniversary the other day on the 12th. Yeah. 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 So that was. Uh, while we put number plates and things on it so that's the old man's truck hence the old man's names on all the trucks as well yep. ryan's got his name on that one because ryan uses that one uh, oh, right. for a load of work yeah and do, do you feel ryan that because obviously your grandfather had passed before you were born yeah but do you feel that sense of uh, you know that you've got to carry that this forward now i know you, your dad's done it yeah, you know but yeah, yeah no, it's a sense of duty almost yeah no i don't know anything else I've grown up around these lorries, so it's kind of it was, it's in the blood, and uh, I, don't, I wouldn't want to do anything else anyway. I've tried other things, and this this is what I want to do. I've, so. I've actually seen that on which wagon was it? That one that says it's in the blood is on. Yeah, it's in the front of this. On one. the front of this one, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, so that is that does ring very very true, yeah, you know, no, with you, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is in the blood, yeah, you know. In a very young age. I'm do that, you know. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I, I would love to see one like because again, you know. I could send it to Dan, you would do it for me. Do you reckon? He'd done the speedboat for me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, could he do that, Will? Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, as I said, to have them, the four scambles there, because I certainly don't think I've ever seen four together. No. I think it would be like a rare, place. rare thing it to will see. Be. If I can get all four running together and all four to go to the show, one behind the other, Lovely. I think it'd be beautiful. And plus the AEC at the front. And maybe the Park Royal Cab in front of that. Maybe a Thames Trader in front of that, if yeah. we can get enough drivers. Nice convoy, innit? Lovely convoy. You know. And I suppose the last time, ah, yeah, the last time they'd have been them, you know, well, at least three scammels together, they were being loaded by a Cat 951. Yeah. Which I'm going to show you now, which is out the back. We'll have a look. Now we're, proper, in, eh? now we're at them. Yeah. This is what my dad first bought in this country. Did he? 951, but it wouldn't have been a C, because a C is very modern. Yes. Yeah. So that's a 951. Hasn't been started in quite a while, which you see if you look in here. There's a little bit of a bird's nest in there. There's a bird's nest. I'm already getting good vibes. She did run, but she's been here quite a while now, so maybe... Hence the bird's nest in it. But I, that, that just tells me, you know, there's one question. Will it start? Will it start? Yeah. That is a very good question. And then we could make our way to the restoration shed. Yes, because that's where it wants to be, isn't yeah. it, really? Yeah, out of this weather. And then we can knock the tracks off. Very easy to change the tracks on these. Yep. Yeah, yeah. The hardest part of this will be changing the sprockets. Yeah. Because you need the pullers on them. Yeah. Which I have a pullers in the yard, which was actually my dad's pullers. Oh, so it's over. Yeah. Yeah, so it's over probably 50 odd years old the pullers yeah it'll probably take two of us to lift it where you only just take one person years ago to lift it <laughs> uh 951 four in one bucket you should drive one of these for me dad back in the day this bucket's in a bit of a mess as well yeah it's but... not unrepairable no not at all not at all the later ones of these were a power shift power shift but yeah. that is the proper manual you, manual. Can it. Yep. you select your gear uh, if you were loading lorries, you'd probably load in second gear. And if you were a bit of a chance, uh, you'd throw her up in the third, maybe when you're heading with the lorry. you got your brakes, you got your slews, yeah. you got your clutch in and out, yep. you've got a directional lever, you got your three lever, so you'd have to be a bit of a, a bit of a piano player. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But other than that, uh, that's, what we all, that's what we started off with. Yeah, she wants a bit of TLC, but... Mm. Um... Be nice to see if we can get a tune out of her. I think you would. Yeah. It'd take a lot. There's a challenge for you now. Yeah, one for another day, innit? Mm. Will another it start? Episode. Yeah. I'll take you up on that. That'll do. All right. You're on. That is a deal, Michael. Mm. That is a deal. Just and then, obviously, that was a double handshake. That was me getting this going and you doing the Chinese six. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! <laughs> so there we go. Um, 
Now, that's one thing, you know, coming for a sausage roll on the grid and being invited to look at your trucks, you know, just as myself, but for you two guys to allow me to come and film them, to show my followers, I really do appreciate that. No problem at all. You. you know. Welcome here any time. No, I do appreciate that. That's very kind of come you. Come up any time you want. I invite, it's a free house for everybody, but not everybody, <laughs> as I said before. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's been, it's been <laughs> wonderful to see, well, just to see a complete... Um, history, if history, you like. It's just a history. Mm. And it's not just a history of, you know, Donovan's. What you're seeing here is a history of our country. There's been a lot of change, isn't there? Yeah. A lot of hard work. A lot of very hard work for a lot of people. Yeah, there has been. Um, and I think the, the, all these lorries represent a part of that history, don't they? True, yep. You know. I'm going to sling a couple of batteries in the back of the truck uh, and get that old 951 fired up. Right, there's a, there, there's a, a yeah. challenge for you. So, uh, yeah, do well. See you all later. And thank you, Will, for thank filming. Thank you, Will. Yeah, you better get back to, to Daniel. Yeah. <laughs>